And some of the most critical healthcare work falls on the shoulders of EMS crews, and the pandemic has really only ramped up the staffing and other challenges many services face. Today, a new state commission met for the first time, and as New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry shows us, its goal is to nail down some solutions. LD 1988 declares that emergency medical services by ambulance is an essential service in the state of Maine, which is why lawmakers voted in favor of establishing the Blue Ribbon Commission to study emergency medical services. On Thursday, the 17 members of the commission met in a hybrid model, some in Augusta and some on Zoom for the first time. Something is changing. Senator Chip Curry is one of the co-chairs of the committee. He says he has heard from EMS employees in his district, including rural areas of Waldo County, expressing their concerns. And said, I'm getting up there in age and I would love to retire and no one's behind me. The commission is only scheduled to meet six times and is tasked with writing a report with recommendations for lawmakers. During its first meeting, the committee heard from Sam Hurley, the main EMS director, and Dia Gandor, director of the National Association of State EMS. Hurley explains what he calls the complicated and inefficient system that is Maine EMS and highlights some of its key problems, including keeping skilled workers. While we see an increase in the number of persons in the age ranges from 20 to 29, um, one might argue that that may not be sufficient. Gandor says other states see similar problems. In some states, the state EMS director says we don't have a shortage, we have a distribution problem. Speaking of distribution problems, 56% of agencies in Maine see less than one call a day. Which again, when we're talking about efficiencies, is something we're going to have to look at. The commission is only budgeted to meet six times, and the report is due to the legislature on December 7th. In Augusta, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.